and welcome to this video. Today we will be painting some Space Wolf miniature. Just a simple intercessor. Nothing fancy there. We will be doing some airbrushing. And uh, as always, remember safety first. So wear your mask when you're airbrushing. I won't be using one today because I'm making this video. And if I do wear it, you won't be able to hear a word of what I'm saying. But under normal, normal circumstances, I would be wearing my mask. I have been asked to do a video on my special theme, so that is what we will be doing today. So let's get going. I've just used this Vallejo Game Air. I have thinned it a little with uh, the thinner. To make it uh, come out a lot easier and not speckle as much. But let's get going. So you have primed him black. And we will be doing uh, more or less 45 degree top down. So we don't get it on all, on all the lower parts of the miniature. To, to keep some of the, the shadows we already have on him. Let's get going. This is fast and simple and easy, once you get the hang of it. Now we can hear the, the noisy compressor. Let's just turn that off and hope we have enough air. There we go, with the first grey. As you can see, if we turn around, if we, if we just focus. You can see he's dark in the lower recess of the miniature. And this is more or less what we will be doing. The first now we will just leave him to dry for a minute or two. And then we will be doing some highlights on him. Next color we will be using is uh, Citadel Rust Gray. I will link all the colors in the description below. These are terrible containers to work with because they are very hard to get the right amount of paint that you want from them. GW really should change to something like, more like a dropper bottle or something. Now we will just quickly mix it. It is also thinned down, maybe about a one-to-one -one with a thinner and paint. And this time we will just hit the uppermost part of the miniature so we can get a lighter color. And this, try not to overdo it. You will get a very subtle color transition between the colors I'm using. You can do more or less if you want to. If you want a, a stronger highlight. But I like mostly like a more subtle one. And if you're painting space, well, keep in mind that, that if you're going to paint the shoulder pads in different colors, especially if you're using a yellow color, which is a color that has a very hard time covering, then hit especially this shoulder pad with the lighter colors to make uh, the yellow cover it a lot easier later. So that will make your, your work easier. done with this and then we will just get rid of the rest of the paint and take the last color we will need. This is also a Vallejo Game Air Wolf Grey and again we will just be starting 
with some thinner. Again, making about a one-to-one -one mix. The brand of thinner is not very important. Just use whatever brand you like. I usually just use Vallejo because I like that. But it doesn't really matter much. I've used plenty of other brands as well. And there we go. And again, if you are not used to airbrushing, make sure to, to lower the pressure when doing these uh, soft half highlights in the end, because uh, you will just get uh, what is called spider webbing because you have too much pressure or the airbrush is too close. And that will really ruin the, the effect on the miniature. But let's get going. And this highlight will just be super subtle, almost uh, just barely hitting the miniature with any paint. And make sure to only hit the really highlighted areas that you want to make sure that the light is hitting. I usually choose shoulder pads, tip of the shoes, back here and the on the lower back, well, the lower of the legs. I hit the upper arms and the shoulder pad. Again, the shoulder pad, because I will be using a yellow paint. So it will be getting a, a lot more highlight because it will be covered up later. And then the, the backpack. And then the other shoulder pad, this shoulder pad on the models I'm painting right now will be will be blue. So I will also be hitting that. If I were painting it red or some other color, I wouldn't be highlighting it at all. And then at least uh, also the helmet. Make sure to hit the helmet. And I usually just Touch up the hands as well. And there we go. This is more or less it. At least from the airbrushing uh, part of the part of the video. We will be come back in, in a second. We will just have a second second to dry, and then we will do some of the more base paints and some battle damage. I'll see you back then. And there we go. Now we're back again. All the paint is totally dry. I blocked in all the basic details. Nothing fancy. Just standard for a Space Marine. So now it's uh, where the real super magic is happening. And that was going to happen. We will just be using the standard streaking, streaking brine from AK. You don't have to use it from AK, you can use whatever brand you want. You can even make your own. You just slobber it all over the marine. And then we will come back when uh, it has been drying for about... I like to leave it to dry for about an hour. And then we will clean it off. I've also made some battle damage on the armor. I will uh, try to remember to link a video in the in the top, where it shows the fast and easy way to do that, so we don't have to show it every time we make a new video. So let's get going. And with streaking grime, you can actually airbrush it on. I don't, because I don't want these kind of enamel paints in my airbrush. So I will just use a brush. Just use a, an old worn brush, nothing fancy, and just slobber it all over the miniature, uh, or at least the part of the miniature that you want to be to be dirty and grimy. You don't have to 
put a massive layer on it just so it, it, it covers the entire miniature. It's a very fast process. And then just leave it to dry. You could leave it for hours and hours if you wanted to. The longer you leave it, the more staining you will get out of out of the brown. Because the enamel paint itself takes very, very long to, to cure by itself. So you can actually the, the next day as well, still remove it or activate it if you want to clean up more of it or add more. You can just add more as much as you want in several layers if you wanted to. And there we go. All done. I'm not putting anything on the base because it's not really important. This is just a demonstration model, so it doesn't really matter. So I will leave this dry for an hour and then I will come back and we can clean him off and finish him. And now we are back again with a dirty, dirty marine. Now we just have to clean him off. And for that we will just be using a makeup sponge and some white spirits. I'm using some from AK. You don't have to do that. You can use whatever white spirits you want. And then you just drop a little on the yeah, some kind of container or something that doesn't absorb it. And then you just make sure you only dab a very, very small amount of it on it. See if we can get some proper light here. And then you just lightly tap the miniature. And being careful not to drag off too much at once. If you do drag off too much, it's not the biggest issue, you can just you can just add more. But why do double the work if you don't have to? And try to hit the raised areas the most. Because then you will just Accentuate the highlights of the miniature and make him look even better. Just add a little more. And there we go. It's a bit dirty here, but we can already see that. We're getting a pretty good looking marine with very little effort. And then just make sure that you hit all the areas and don't leave drag marks where you don't want them because it will just look weird on the miniature. sure to take some proper pictures of it when we're done and put them at the end of the video and you just keep going like this until you are happy with the result there's no reason for me to keep going on this video it will just take another five minutes or so and then I'll just make sure that I paint his eyes and he's more or less done and this is uh, how I paint my scheme for my Space Wolf. If you had uh, any questions or want to see something else, you are welcome to put any comment in the, in the comment section. But other than that, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next video. If you're not already subscribed, I hope you will subscribe and hit the subscribe button, of course, and the little bell 
so you will get notifications about my future videos and i'll see you in the next one bye for now